Hey everyone, this is Pilot, and welcome back to another episode of The Mock Workshop. Today's video is going to be a follow-up to my previous studio tutorial from a couple months ago. In that video, I mentioned how it's possible to extract the models you build in studio for the purposes of 3D printing or 3D animation, and today I'm going to show you how to do just that. Now, I should preface this by saying that I have next to no experience with 3D animation, so this is going to focus more on the 3D printing side of things. The process I'll be describing here is something I've used multiple times, either to save money on bricklink orders or to obtain the models for certain and custom parts. For example, my mock Akiris uses a custom chess piece made by the 3D modeler Galva. While this piece was available in studio, I wasn't able to find the model for it online, so I used this method to obtain a file I could use with my 3D printer. All you'll need for this is studio itself, along with another program called Blender, which you can download online for free. Now with that, let's begin the tutorial. Step 1. Open studio, and you can either open the file for an existing mock, or create a new one. If you only want to extract the model for a single piece, I'd recommend creating a new file with just that part inside. However, you can perform this method on a whole mock if you'd like, as the steps will be the exact same. Step 2. Now that you have your file open in Studio, click the File button in the upper left corner. This should open a drop-down menu, and you'll want to find the option that says Export As. Hovering over this will show another drop-down menu with an option saying Export As Collada. Click that, and then you should see a window with some settings. I'd recommend turning off the top option for including the stud logo, and then you can click the blue Export button. Step 3. Open Blender and delete the starting cube object. Click the button in the upper left corner and navigate to the option that says Import. Click on the first option, Collada, and find the Collada file you exported from Studio. Now you should see your piece or mock in Blender. And what's cool about this is now you can manipulate this model just like any other Blender object. I mentioned 3D animation before, but you can also modify parts, like I once tried to do with this scoped Kanoe How. I also forgot to show this on video, but if you color pieces in Studio, the colors will actually transfer over as textures you can use in Blender. This will be the end of the tutorial for anyone aiming to do cool Blender stuff. But for 3D printing people like myself, there's one more extra step. Step 4. With your model still open in Blender, click on the File button and find the Export option. When you hover over Export, you should see another drop-down menu, where you'll want to find and click STL. Save the file to your computer, and now you should have a file compatible with most, if not all, 3D printing software. And there you have it. Going into this video, I was really eager to share this process, simply because of the sheer number of new possibilities it opens up. Not just for Bonacle Makas, but Lego builders in general. 3D animators can save time on modeling their characters. Makas can save money by 3D printing parts. And even with limited experience, builders can modify a piece however they want. I've said this before, but Studio is much more than just a digital building tool. It's a gateway into an entirely new side of mock creation. It's stuff like this that gets me excited about the future of Bonacle mocks. And in addition to the tutorial itself, I hope you've been able to take away a similar sentiment from this video. Thanks for watching, and this is Pilot, signing off.